welcome to this week's vlog. It is the third and final week of Clear Your Shit. Well, kind of. There's like a half of a week next week. Um, but yeah, welcome. How you doing? Uh, what did I read? Yesterday? Uh, did I say it's Monday? It's definitely Tuesday. Let me lower you guys. It's definitely Tuesday. Um, yesterday I read The Bone Char Daughter and oh and then I started in the Garden of Spite. Um, the Bone Char Daughter was really good. I enjoyed it a lot. Interestingly it's one of those books that like I want to read again now that I know the the twist so we'll see. Um, but yeah and then um, in the Garden of Spite definitely a historical fiction but it was a thriller one about a serial killer, a female serial killer and that was really good. Her motives were pretty, you know, clear from the jump. She went through something really traumatizing and it resulted in her <laughs> being a serial killer. I uh, did feel like there was a little bit of a lull where the story felt repetitive. Obviously she's a serial killer, she's gonna be repetitive, um, but it just did get a little bit old, you know. Today I am starting the Living Sea of Waking Dreams, um, so that's exciting. Oh, I also am reading the Cursed Carnival and Other Calamities, which is the Rick Riordan Presents, um, like, authors all together in one little, like, anthology. Uh, the only thing that I'm struggling with is that some of the stories have characters that I don't know because there are some that I just haven't read yet from that collection of authors, but it's really hard because there's no like context and I don't really like um, some of the characters based on the lack of con like based on the lack of context and that kind of thing. Uh, so I don't know how I'm going to review this like I don't know if it's appropriate for me to just like skip around stories and review the ones that I did read and like discuss the fact that it's like I don't know. I don't know how to go about reviewing it. Um, I am losing my train of thought. I just worked on my resume and felt like I was having a panic attack the whole time, so that was super cool. Um, so I have now switched over to working on the readathon a little bit before I have a meeting. Um, it's been very busy at work, so that sucks. I'm working on this story. I'm very excited about some of the things that are are gonna come from it. Um, and I have almost all of the prompts done. There's just like one, two, three, four, four prompts and then one like the final boss battle that I'm missing prompts for. Um, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, but I'm pretty pleased with how much Art and I already got done in this for the readathon and it's just gonna make it's gonna make November so much easier having most of this done. I'm really excited for you guys to learn also like part of narrator's backstory so yeah we'll see. Um, I'm gonna go though I have a meeting in a few minutes that I need to be ready for. Um, yeah. Also Star Eater came out today and I'm still super bummed that it was not not that good. Not uh, it wasn't. I feel bad saying that. All right, I'm gonna go before I psych myself out about talking about it. I'm gonna go. Okay, thanks. Bye. I'll check back in later. Hopefully, I get to go to the library today, so I will hopefully have updates for you. Also, Bella came home last night, so I get to see her. She's been gone. Um, I was also gone though, so poor Chris. Okay, bye. I literally filmed an entire update, and my fucking camera didn't record any of it any of it at all um so that's cool uh i'm gonna update you guys tomorrow because i'm home now i was like updating you guys at the library and now i'm home so basically i'm returning books and i didn't pick any books up because i want to read less but i'll talk about that more tomorrow okay thanks bye good morning it is thursday the 24th the last week and a half of clear as shit not the matter since i've um, pretty much finished it. Um, what have I even read? What have I read? I don't know. Uh, I reread the project, which is something that I read back in 2020, 
and it was it was pretty good. Um, I had originally rated it four stars, and I stand by that rating even after a reread, which is cool, I guess. I also read The Iron Trials by Holly Black and Cassandra Clare, which I like both of those authors a lot, but I, and I liked The Iron Trial. I think the only thing that I had beef with was that there was a little bit of, uh, the main character is disabled and I wasn't super comfortable with the way that some of that was represented, but I couldn't like pinpoint why as someone who's not physically disabled. So, um, I don't know, but there was something about it that I didn't love, uh, but it wasn't bad. I also um, finished, this morning I finished Crown Chasers and it's pretty good. Um, it was a sci it's a sci-fi duology. Art had me um, get the first one and I just hadn't gotten around to reading it yet, but I managed to read that this morning. I'm going to be starting Sky Hunter by Marie Lu shortly. Um, so that's all well and good. What else? When I went to the library, I did not pick up any books because, like I said, I'm trying to read less. And when I say that, I mean because I would like to make time for other things like crocheting and watching TV with Bella and, um, writing even. I'd really like to get back to the story I was working on, so it's just hard to break from the things that I'm used to. So I'm figuring that out, that balance out, but we'll, we'll get there. Um, today the plan is to finish Sky Hunter and Artemis Fowl, and then, um, what else? I think that's it, reading wise. I might finish, um, Fight Like a Girl, which is a contemporary, but it's kind of got more thriller aspects, which is interesting because most of the time it's thrillers that are actually secretly contemporaries, not the other way around. So that, um, this is a neat change of things, I guess. Uh, I do have a collaborative post blog post coming out this Saturday um, where I will be posting 10 books by trans and non-binary authors and have links to some other people's blogs where they will be posting similarly. And then also next week, I think, I have um, a collaboration with Boston Reads Books coming out. I also think that um, Sappho's Library, Teresa, is on there as well, which is pretty cool. Um, so I'm really glad that Boston's put that together and that we'll all be in a little video together with our, our stuff. Um, very excited about that. So I accidentally washed one of my camera batteries and it keeps dying at random on me. Um, so I need to buy a new one, but they're like 20 bucks and I just don't want to. That's it. That's my only reasoning is I just don't want to. My thumb is in pain from crocheting. I'm currently making a Santa. I'll show him. I'll show him now. I'm currently making a Santa. He just needs his hat and then like some finer details. So, so yeah. Um, I have that going on for me. <laughs> He's covered in pet hair. It's fine. We love him. I'm making him for my dad. I don't keep any of these things. They always like go to people. So, um, yeah, that's it. I'm going to go. I got some stuff to do, but I hope you guys are having a great day. I will try and update again later. I realize that I can just like schedule updating into my day and I am much more likely to do it and so I don't know why I wasn't doing that to begin with. So we're gonna give that a shot. But yeah, I'm gonna go. Okay, thanks, bye. Hello, it is Friday. Forgot what day of the week it was. It's Friday the 25th. I my blood pressure and heart rate got so bad yesterday that I like couldn't function. Um, we're way better today. Not a hundred percent, just generally better. Um, so yeah, I just finished Graceling. Graceling is really good. I thought that it was going to be much like Nevernight in which book internet sphere lied to me and made me read something that was fucking stupid and had bad writing, which is how Nevernight is. Nevernight is a fucking terrible book with bad writing um, by a terrible person. So Graceling is actually really good. 
it was really really good I enjoyed it a lot I am gonna start the second book in a little bit I've got a couple of arcs that I need to get to reading on um, but I'm gonna do that and yeah so that's all that's going on right now I uh, don't know what I was gonna say um, that's all I got I hope you guys are having a good day I'll check back in later um, yeah that's it <laughs> We really be going through it. When my health is bad, my ADHD is much worse. So, all right. Bye. For real. This time. Okay, bye. I don't even know what I look like. I just woke up. Um, I have to clean and pack and film before I leave for a hundred years to go house it for my parents. So, yep, we're gonna get that started. I need to find my headphones. If I can't find them, I'll just use my cracking kitty headset which really will affect my ability to like do my hair at the same time so we'll see what's happening we'll see uh yeah i'm gonna go i'm gonna go it's dark cleaning check back in later Monday evening. I am closing out the vlog, so this is it. This is me closing it out. Hello. Um, read a shit ton. Um, I finished the entire Graceling series. It's really, really good, and I've enjoyed it quite a lot. Uh, I think that's all I finished between now and then. Oh, and Edgewood, which is an arc that I read. It is a dark fairy tale romance fantasy thing, and it was really good. My only... Uh, thing with it issue qualms I don't know is that I wish that it had been an adult novel and not a young adult novel and, and you guys know I don't generally wish that uh, I just almost feel like if there had been the ability for spice then the couple would have made a little bit more sense on page uh, that's but that's really my only grief and you guys know that's not I assume you know that's not my uh, my normal complaint 
and also I think that the decisions that were being made were a little bit out of depth for the character's age. She's supposed to be 19 and you know one of the decisions she made without spoiling anything is to have her grandfather put in a um, nursing home and I don't feel like that is the typical teenage experience. <laughs> Um, and I know, having been a 19-year-old once, you know, I'm an own voices reviewer for having been 19 once, uh, I know that I would not have been able to make the mature decisions necessary for that kind of thing. So there's just some, like, some, some things that it, it felt like the characters were supposed to have been adults, like adults adults, um, and we aged them down for the sake of fitting into the YA genre instead of fitting into the adult genre and I think it took away from the story. So that's really my only qualm. It was really good though otherwise. Um, I started, oh, fuck no, I finished two books today? What did I finish? Um, no, that's gonna be for next week's vlog actually. I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm gonna go though. Next week's vlog is going to be a hot mess express because I'm going to be at my parents' house. I'm at my parents' house right now uh, for about eight days. So I don't, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, I'm going to go though and eat my dinner. Okay, thanks, bye. Oh, if you enjoyed this, don't forget to like and subscribe and share. If you didn't enjoy this, it's my life.